Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how you can easily edit and save Microsoft Word documents right from pages. Uh, it's not that hard and it's actually easier than you probably think it is. Now, a lot of people criticize Macs for not being able to, you know, display Word documents, but that's not true at all. You actually can. So, assuming that you have iWork installed on your system, all you have to do is go up to your Spotlight menu and search for Pages, and you can open up Pages from here. So when you get to your template chooser, you can just choose a blank document. It doesn't really matter. And you're going to see your document here. So now you can type the text of your document here and do whatever you want. You know, make this bold, underline it maybe, italicize it, center it, change the size. It doesn't matter what you want to do. Uh, you can do whatever you want. And when it comes time to save it, um, you'll just go up, you know, file, save. And this dialog box is going to drop down. And what you're going to see here is the, your save panel. Now it default saves it as .pages file which is the format that Pages uses to save all its files. Now what you can do here to save it as a Microsoft Word document, say you use Word documents at work or something like that, all you have to do right here, right next to the check checkbox that says include preview and document, you can click the check mark, check mark that says save copy as and then you can choose Word document or iWork 08. In this case we're going to be choosing I or Word document because yeah, you're just trying to save it as a Word document. Now it's going to save a copy of this as a Word document and you can also then save a copy as a Pages document. Now unfortunately it only supports the older style .doc file types so if you're working with like Word 2007 you're not going to be able to save it as DOCX uh, that's something that will probably be resolved in a newer version of iWork. So from here you can just click save and what it's going to do is it's going to export it and save it to your desktop. Now you're going to see here that you can still save it as a pages file from here and you know just like you would. So I'm just going to click don't save here and you can see I can easily open up .doc documents. Uh, you can also open up .docx documents and edit them on here but you're not going to be able to save them as .docx. You're going to have to save them as the older .doc format. So that's one shortcoming of pages, but still it is a solution and it does still work. Now you'll notice here that I have this document warnings panel that opened up when I opened up the document and it says character borders aren't supported and were removed. So when you're working with the .doc files, you're going to come up with errors once in a while, uh, specifically if you use a Mac only font and you try to open it on a Windows computer you're not going to be able to see that font on there because it's not installed so it's safe to work with only fonts that you know are on both systems um, so typical ones like Times New Roman things like that other than those formatting issues and the DOCX issue it works pretty seamlessly and pretty flawlessly and I've had no troubles with it I've been using it all for a while now so that's an easy way that you can actually use Microsoft Word files in pages and uh, it can save you a lot of time and a lot of the hassle of transferring files back and forth and worrying about different formats uh, if you handle a lot of files like that, documents and such. So that's about all. I hope you found this useful and thank you for watching.